Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer d which represents the number of dragons in a video game and then the d integers which represent the lives of the d dragons and the program must accept the integer b which represents the number of bombs and then the b integers representing the capacity of the b bombs now for each integer among that is b bomb the program must reduce the lives that is for integer x so the program must reduce the life of each dragons by x and if the lives of dragon goes below 0 then the program must print game over as the output so the program must print the integers representing the lives of the dragons till the game is over And when the game is over, we must print game over as the output. So first we must accept the integer d which is the number of dragons in the video game and the d integers representing the lives of the d dragons then integer b which represents the number of bombs and then the b integers representing the capacity of the b bombs and for each integer x among the b bombs the program must reduce the life of each dragon by x and if the lives of the dragon goes below zero the game is over and the program must print the integers representing the lives of the dragons till the game is over and when the game is over, the program must print game over as the output. So now we'll take our first test case. So here we have the capacity of the bombs. So we will reduce for the first value that is 1. So yes. For the first iteration, we have reduced the lives of the each dragon. So now the lives have become like this. Then we'll move to the next iteration where we have again one. So we'll reduce again the lives by one. So now after this, we'll move to the next iteration. So here 
we can see that the lives of three dragons has become zero so we'll print game over as the output so now we'll take our another test case so here we have for the first bomb we'll reduce the lives by 3 and for the next iteration 1 we'll reduce the lives by 1 and then for the next iteration that is 3 we'll reduce the lives by 3 so it becomes 0 0 minus 1 2 1 and then minus 2 so here we can see that the lives of dragon has become a negative value so we'll print game over so this will be our output now let us implement our program first we'll get our input the d integer and then we'll get our dragons list that is representing the lives of dragons and then we'll get the number of bombs and then we'll get the capacity of the bombs as a list and then we'll iterate over that is for x in bombs so here we'll have a variable called as is game over equal to false which determines whether the game is over or not so if the lives of dragons becomes below zero the game is over and it becomes true and for for the index in range d if it is first the dragons of the index will be minus equal to x so we have reduced and if the dragons of index is less than zero then we are going to change the is game over as true and use break and if the is game over is true then we are going to print game over as the output and the else part will print asterisk dragons and here we use break so if the bombs are over and the dragons of lives are still remaining means then also we are going to print game over as the output so with the bombs are over and the lives are remaining game over will be our output now we'll run our program with our first test case so yes we have got the correct output as you can see the bombs are over and three lives have become zero now we'll pass our another test case so here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully
Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.